Okay everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the polar bear rescue, sequencing and conditional loops. Now I did this lesson with my class uh, earlier this week and uh, there were a few issues that came up and I looked online and it seems I'm not the only person that's had a few problems uh, with this level. So uh, let's go through and take a look where people are getting stuck, find out what's going on and uh, if you stick around to the end of this video uh, you'll definitely get to see how it's completed and uh, you'll learn a thing or two about sequencing and conditional loops as well. Okay, so let's dive in. Uh, we're going to click on View Library, Lessons, Computer Science, Block-Based Coding, Coding Fundamentals 1, and Lesson 3, which is the Polar Bear Rescue. Now, uh, this is a continuation from the Coding Fundamentals 1, Lessons 1 and 2, which I did in a speed run. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to go ahead chat to Dr. Barwin, he's going to tell us about this task. We're trying to reunite uh, the baby polar bear with the family of polar bears here. So we'll hit C. And here what we want to do is get the agent to dig a tunnel through the ice. And the big thing about this level is that we are looking at the um, the while and agent detect commands. All right, so for example, while agent detect block forward, we're going to destroy forward, move forward, and destroy up. Now the destroy up is there so that we can walk through. Obviously we're a block higher than the agent. Uh, so we press the play button that compiles the code and then um, we go into the chat, type cub, and the agent will make its way through. And every time it detects a block in front of it, it will destroy it. Every time it doesn't, it's just going to stop. Um, so that gets us to the end of that mission there. Pretty simple stuff. Now this next one is going to be building a bridge across the chasm. And um, again, this one's pretty straightforward. We need to, it tells us at the top there, we're going to select oak as the building material and 64 for the amount of blocks. So make sure your students read that top little bit there. And obviously as the agent moves across the bridge, if there isn't uh, a block underneath it, it's gonna place a block down and then move forward. And uh, by that process, it's going to get to the other side, having placed down any uh, blocks where there are no blocks. So we're not going to type run, we're going to type chasm. And the agent makes his way across, placing blocks as he goes. And when he detects that there's a block underneath him, he stops at the other end. All right, now this next one is where some people are getting a little bit stuck. And um, there's an act actually a couple of reasons why people are getting stuck on this one. So um, I'll put the link in the description to this video for the uh, lesson plan for the educator guide, uh, which is useful. Uh, but actually the educator guide gets things a little bit wrong um, on this second one. So to start with, it actually says uh, to build the tower, set the uh, block to oak, which is good. And that's right. It tells us that at the top. Um, it says uh, we're going to build it 10 blocks high. So we need to put everything in a repeat 10 times loop. And um, it tells us that we need to, to build up 10 high, come back down to the bottom and then kind of move out of the way. And that's all fine. Um, the issue is, is that the way this, the way this level is designed. Um, so I'll just get these in here now. I was going to place in front of him, place to his left, place to his right, and then move up one. He's going to repeat that ten times. Good, and then come back down at the end uh, to move through. Now the reason why people are struggling with this one is because once, once you build this tower, it's kind of like two coding activities in one lesson or it's kind of like three actually. Um, so you build the tower, come back down, then you have to build a ladder, and then you have to climb to the top of the ladder com to complete the level. But you have to build uh, using the right materials as well. So this bit's all fine. This is in the educator's guide, and it does um, exactly as I've coded it there. It tells you what to do. Oops, just fell off there. Luckily, I'm not gonna lose any progress. So the agent takes a step back and, and the tower is done. Okay, so now we need to move on to the next thing. So if I press C, all my old coding is still there. I'm going to change the um, item in slot number one to ladder. Right, and it's not super clear about this, actually, because um, if you click through the tutorial, it does tell you to change that. Now, here's the big thing. On the educator's guide, it says agent move forward by one uh, um, underneath that ladder section there. And actually, it's moved forward by two. Um, otherwise, your agent doesn't move far enough forward to start placing things. And then on the educator guide, it says agent place forward, agent move forward. Um, but it's not, it's agent move up um, by one. So obviously he places the ladder in front of him and moves up by one. Um, and then by that process, he gets to the top, 
placing the ladder. Then he comes back down, steps back and steps to the left. I don't know if that's essential. It's in the educator's guide and it works. So we're going to run this bit of code with a few modifications to the educator's guide just to make sure it works. I'm going to head up. So if you were struggling with that little bit there, um, maybe that was why. Okay, and then you jump down into the snow and through the gap. And this is the final activity, which is which says it's a bonus activity. Um, and again, it, the educator guide doesn't um, necessarily tell you how to do this. So let's go through it now so that your students can complete this lesson without too much hassle. So uh, we're going to do an on chat command and we're going to use a little bit of the logic. Now you'll see at the top it says you've got to use oak planks. Okay, so make sure uh, that you're reading that and implementing it. Ensure the agent has 64 blocks of oak planks of oak planks in the inventory. Now that's about all it says. Um, and it doesn't it doesn't give you any repeat loops either. It just gives you a while loop. So it actually does limit the um, coding that you've got to complete this challenge. And in the educator guide, it gives you a uh, it gives you a route that you can take across the ice to build the uh, bridge, but it doesn't um, give you any of the coding that you should use or even kind of point you in the right direction. So um, this is how I did it. It might not be the most efficient way, but this is how I did it. So um, just like the chasm, I'm detecting a block underneath me. And if there's no block, I'm going to place the oak plank down. And if there is, um, we're just going to not do anything. If there is a block, we're going to stand still. Um, I've put in a, a left turn and a right turn there as well, so I can negotiate my round, way around the ice. Now, the way I did this um, is our type run agent uh, hang on, what did I do wrong here? Oh, I don't think I compiled the code. Right, um, let's press play to compile the code. Just check this. Ah, I need to put an agent move forward in there and then compile the code, yeah. Um, so there we go. So I've run that, the agent moves forward, but then he stops. So you need to run it again, he moves forward, turn him to the right and kind of repeat that process. It's a bit laborious really, I think usually they they quite like you to complete these tasks all in one long line of code. Um, but you can see there, as you make your way across the different platforms, uh, the polar bears make their way to the middle, which is nice. So we'll type run here and it'll bridge that gap kind of automatically. Um, but there may be a, there may be a more simple solution. I'm not sure, but um, this is the route that the educator guide um, lists as a possible route across. So we're bridging those gaps, uh, the polar bears making their way to the middle. We'll just keep hitting run to get our way across this ice. And you can see here, there he goes, makes his way across. And um, then he's going to turn right, move forward. And the idea is that um, we are creating uh, a path so the polar bears can get to the middle block of ice. And then the baby polar bear that we've been guiding through the lesson can then uh, walk through that little gap there in front of us and uh, be reunited. So there we are. The agent has bridged the gap between all of the bits of ice. And I don't know if we've done it the kind of official way, but it does say lesson complete. And actually it then puts in an oak, some oak planks across that middle one. Uh, which the educator guide didn't list as a possible route, interestingly. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a good lesson. It's a tricky one. And actually, if you go onto the Minecraft education website, it does say it's quite a difficult uh, lesson and it understands that people are getting a bit stuck on it. Interestingly, I when you click on the lesson plan um, last week, it wasn't taking you to anything. So I don't know if they're trying to fix it and uh, make it a bit more understandable. Uh, but certainly, uh, that's if you are stuck on the polar bear level on Minecraft education on the coding fundamentals lesson three That's one solution. That's one way to do it um, So if you found that useful, please like and subscribe to the channel There's gonna be more stuff coming up with um, some animal mods and stuff like that coming up soon uh, But until then I'll see you next time